Philadelphia Chinese Lantern Festival is a celebration of light and culture. The lantern making is crafting works with thousand years of history in China. They are super, 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 super cool. The Chinese Lantern Festival is a celebration of light and culture. It's gorgeous. This is our fourth year hosting it here at Franklin Square. There are 29 gorgeous light installations. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> we drove up from Baltimore for this. That's the money shot. I love it. <laughs> I heard how beautiful the lantern show is and that you have to see it firsthand. Planning for the festival really is a year-long planning process at this point. They are designing these lanterns and creating them. All the people here, they learn these things from their past generations. From the city where the, it originally came from, it's the capital city for this uh, craft works. And around like 90% of the people making lanterns, they all came from the same city. The Lantern Festival in China is the last day of the Spring Festival. The Spring Festival is the biggest day in China. That's the Chinese New Year. So like family gathering time and everybody will come back home. That's why we want to bring it here to share with the people from Philadelphia. This year, the emphasis is really on the interactive. There are swings. We also have the Dragon Tunnel. People can walk through the whole body of the dragon. That is fabulous. As you can see, we have a big phoenix behind me. It's like 200 feet long and two or three stories high. In ancient Chinese culture, the phoenix stands for the queen, as the dragon stands for the king. There is a selfie station. Hey! I have to say, this one is probably my favorite piece. It's killing. Ancient Chinese mythology, a like killing and a dragon that just like brothers. It is made up of 30,000 tiny little glass bottles that are filled with colorful water. That is really awesome. From far away, it looks like jewels. I also enjoy pandas, so I really think the panda tree is pretty spectacular. Well, you can see the pandas in different movements. For example, like panda eating hot pot, or playing mahjong. I like that big centerpiece over on the other side with the dancing lady. The gigantic fairy lady. Probably the biggest thing we've actually ever had at the festival. And also we have culture performance. This year we bring some like acrobats and martial arts and the tai chi and face changer. The face changer is the crowd favorite. Nothing like I've ever seen before. It's also that something that they cannot learn in school and you're just passing down from generation to generation. The experience starts as soon as they walk in the gate. Oh, that's cute though. People bring their grandkids, people bring their kids. Because it's great, the kids love it. People bring their dates. We've had lots of proposals and we actually have a giant heart that lights up and says I love you if you're there with the person that you love. There you go, it works. <laughs> it really is just a wonderful summer evening to experience in the city.